Hi there and welcome to jQuery for Designers. My name is Roman Sharp and this is the second part of um, doing funky stuff with overflows. Now, uh, just recently, Trevor Morris got in touch with me um, uh, about a f an effect that he had running on uh, his browser, on, on his, his website. And it's really very cool. The only thing is it was eating a bit of, quite a bit of CPU. Um, it's disabled at the moment on his live website. Um, and what it is is this 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 header, the uh, the background is um, is like a rainbow. So the foreground is an Im an invisible image. Uh, let me see if I can find the the background image. Oh, the the foreground is a, a a PNG with transparency on it, and the background is a, a rainbow. And it would scroll left and right, or oh, sorry, just left. So it's create this really very cool effect. Um, for his website. The only thing is it was really eating away at CPU. So he asked me if there was a better way of doing it. Um, so I downloaded his, his, his web page and I brought it into um, a quick demo page and I'm going to show you guys how how I've, I've kind of recreated his effect and, and I'm not e eating up CPU. And what we're doing is we're using an overflow and we're adjusting the scroll left to make this background scroll left and right. So let me show you how I did this. The first thing I need to do is stick in the header effect. Um, so I'm going to just plug in these divs. I'll explain the uh, the divs after I've uh, after I plug them in because. What I need here is another nested div. Div id equals well. Uh, I think that's it. So, what I'm doing here is is I'm putting a div right at the top of the page, and um, here is the the rainbow. So this this really wide image that he prepared, and I'm actually going to put the rainbow on this div, and this will have the this div will have the overflow, and this is another div that will sit on top of the rainbow that has the transparent P, uh, transparent PNG. <coughs> so let's plug in some CSS. Doing overflow hidden just to avoid any kind of scroll bars in this block. And top left is to ensure it's uh, it's going to work fine in uh, the IE browsers. So my aim here is to um, to create this effect using um, the overflow to to scroll it left and right, keep the CPU really low, and make it work in all the browsers. And also make this effect. Uh, Work correctly when uh, JavaScript's disabled. Uh, now, absolute credit to uh, to Trevor. All of this this design and uh, effect was his. You know, it's his idea. It's um, it's his graphics. So, um, yeah, kudos to you. So the swirl is this um, this foreground PNG. And try and show it. where is it? In fact, I haven't got the URL. So background. I'm going to try and show you the swirl uh, that, that Trevor's done. So this is the image, uh, and where you see it's white, it's actually transparent.
<clears throat> so because it's position absolute, it's going to sit right on top of this uh, this div here, which we're going to make exactly the same height and width. Um, I'm going to leave overflow auto for the minute, just so you can see what's going on. And then this nested div height 400 width is 3312. This is the actual width of the image. Um, no, it's not the actual width of the image. It's, uh, it's something like twice or one and a half times the width of the image. Um, but we're going to repeat it. And because he's created a, a rainbow effect that can be repeated, it works perfectly. Now I'm doing minus twenty percent here just to kind of start it off in a in a decent position. Right. So you can see the overflow here. Okay, so this is the effect that we're going. Oh, that, that Trevor is has created. It scrolls left and right, and does it nice and slowly, and creates this really sexy effect. And if I show you the the rainbow. So that's the rainbow he's created, and you can see left and right edges, they allow for for repeating. Um, I think Z indexes are okay. Yep, I can click on things, so that's all good. Um, now obviously the, the overflows can be hidden here. But um, I just want to keep it auto so you can see it scrolling. So now that's our effect. Um, and like I said, I wanted this to work in uh, without JavaScript. So we have this set to hidden. The problem is we've got a, a transparent transparent PNG in the uh, swirl. So we're just going to do in IE6. We're going to load the um, <coughs> the alpha. Uh, image loader uh, filter for the the PNG. So now, if you haven't guessed, I don't know this off the top of my head. I have it written down. Um, Anyone who knows this off the top of the head, awesome. Uh, personally, I tend to use the uh, the plugins to to kind of handle out alpha transparency, but like I want this to work without JavaScript. And this, if JavaScript's disabled, this should work without JavaScript. I think I'm pretty sure. Um, alpha image loader source equals uh, HTTP. Now I'm not going to show you this working. Um, I have tested it in IE6, and I, um, it does it does work. Um, but something to note that I found, uh, and maybe because I'm using a, a base, the base tag up here to, to kind of pull most of um, Trevor's Trevor's content um, for the example. Um, but I had to put an absolute URL here. Um, I can I can get it to work without it, and maybe that IE was picking up the fact that it was hosted on uh, my test site. Um, it may be that you have to put absolute URLs in here, but just something to look out for. And spelling mistakes. Right, so let's have a look at the JavaScript. Right, 
And it's already loading in jQuery, which is great. The minified version. And for this effect to work, we don't actually need to use jQuery. And I'll, I'll show you why. Well, I'm going to use jQuery for the, the load function. The things I need are the rainbow div. Um, the last position and the the width that I'm working to. Now, since it's a fixed width page, I know that it's sixteen five six. <clears throat> now, the rainbow div can either be dollar rainbow dot get because we actually need the DOM node. Or I can just do a straight document dot get element by ID. Okay, it doesn't make any difference. We want the actual DOM node, we don't want the jQuery version of it. We don't want we don't need any of the features of jQuery. So the first thing I need to do is every time you come to this page, if it's been scrolled along, we don't want the browser to remember that it's halfway along. We always want it to start right at the beginning. So I'm going to do scroll left equals width, which means it starts right at the end. Um, but the, the point is it always starts in the same place every time you come to this web page. And all we're going to do is set um, an interval timer to move that, that scroll left along just a little bit. I'm going to set this to 100 milliseconds for the time being. And I'm going to do rainbow dot scroll left minus equals five right, because I'm going from right to left, so it looks like we're scrolling. So if I go if I go left to right, it looks like the effect's going backwards. But if I go from right to left, it looks like the effect's going forward. So that's why I reset right to the end and go the other way. So I'm just going to show you that now. There you can see it scrolling along. I'm just going to make it jump a little bit faster. Yeah. So obviously that is too fast. It looks a bit a bit naff. It's too fast. But if it's a nice subtle effect, you see how how cool this effect can be. Um, and the other thing you should note is when the scroller gets to the end, it doesn't break. There's no JavaScript error. It just gets to the end. So I'm going to use that to work out that I've hit the end. I need to go uh, work out that I've hit the end here and just go right back to the beginning. Because you see, if I just move it back to the beginning, it keeps scrolling. So I'm going to do if uh, I'm going to store the position with the last position, rainbow dot scroll left, and I'm going to say if those two are the same. then we fit the end. And I'll just do rainbow dot scroll left equals width. Let's just make that go fast so you can see it go quickly. No, not moving. What have I done wrong? Oh, you silly bugger. Yeah, obviously that is going to be exactly the same because I just set it to the same. I need to do it. That needs to be the last thing that happens. So you store the last position because you want to compare it from, you want to compare the new position to the last loop. Let's try that again. I'm not scrolling right to the end. I can't remember. I think the width is actually the repeating point of the uh, the image. Now, let's set this to hidden. Where is it? And let's just make this a little bit slower. 
And what I suggest uh, you do if you've got a similar kind of effect, the the, the CPU usage is in kind of the rendering of this the the, the PNG and the the color through the PNG. Um, so depending on how fast the timer runs at and how fast you move the scroll left is how much it, it, it'll be. Um, it will directly affect how much CPU you 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 use up. So you know, open up um, Task Manager in Windows or the Activity Monitor in, in on a Mac, and just have a look at how much it spikes when you that animation is running. I found that um, scrolling left to five pixels is slow enough that it keeps CPU kind of throttled nice and low, um, but it may be too slow to kind of notice. Um, but it's it's the kind of thing that you can play around with and, and make a decision as to how how much you want the uh, the CPU to go up when they're looking at your web page. Um, but otherwise, yeah, check out um, Trevor's website. He runs Geek in a Park in the UK, uh, which is uh, in the Midlands. And it's a pretty cool event. Uh, people like John Hicks go to it, so check it out. Um, and otherwise, if you've got any questions or suggestions or um, uh, you know, comments on the the screencast. Head over to jQueryForDesigners.com. Drop a comment on the uh, the blog post, and you know, we'll see if we can get back to you. All right, thanks for watching.